Hey guys, my name is Tara. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. Today I do a look using the e.l.f. bite size. Um, I didn't use this one obviously, but the e.l.f. bite size palettes. I used cream and sugar and the pumpkin spice. The pumpkin spice one is back in its bag because it's broken. You'll see in the video. So good. So go ahead and continue watching if you want to see how I got this look and my thoughts on the shadow. This is a bit of a two-parter because I don't like my videos to be too long. So I've, in my other video, tested out the e.l.f. new hydrating camo concealer. Is that what it's called? Yeah. And then the e.l.f. sponge. And in today's video, I just want to do a look using the e.l.f. eyeshadows. I got three eyeshadow palettes. So I got this bad boy, which is pumpkin spice, but it broke. Um, so I'm waiting for my replacement one, but we're just gonna go along with the video because, because we are. And I got that one to kind of go with this, uh, these are their bite size eyeshadows, cream and sugar, because it has like a lighter color and then a darker color, but no in between these two shimmers. But very cute they were each three dollars so even you know if you have to put two together to make like an eight pan eyeshadow like six bucks I don't find that to be a bad price at all if they work um, in even if they are a little bit of a struggle bus oh well it was three bucks right and then I got this one because this blue right here really spoke to me but I'm gonna do a different video dedicated just to this one little palette well maybe not only using this one palette but I have something in mind and that's why I got this so That'll be for another day, but I did also purchase that for the three bucks. These are the colors here, and the, which one is this? The cream and sugar. So let's swatch a couple. Let's swatch the brown and one of the shimmers. Oh wow, look at how that shimmer just melted. Oh, the brown doesn't start off super dark right away, and I like that. That's cool. It doesn't look, oops, I just went over it with the shimmer, I swear. Well, even mixed, if you mix that brown with that shimmer, look at what you come up with. That's really pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna jump into that khaki color out of the pumpkin spice palette and start buffing that onto my lid. Woo. That's a pretty color. I mean, the pigmentation is there. And they are blending quite nice. Let's use a fluffy brush to kinda work that in better. Honestly, does anybody else get lint balls? You know, we store our brushes up and mine are just like a lint trap. I'm gonna take a smaller brush and jump into this color right here. They don't have color names. They just have names on the palette, I believe. I'm not seeing anything anyways. A little bit of inconsistency going in with that second color nothing crazy just a little I don't know if it's the brush um, or the shadow okay 
trying to do a little bit of patchwork where it got a little like patchy. So a little less on this side. That's really weird. So maybe it's my eye. I don't know. <laughs> but that's a little weird. Still not mad at it for $3. Let's get that out there. I feel like I want to like cut the crease. Fuck it. We cut the crease and then like smoke out. I don't really want to wear false lashes today. Not that that's a must, but we'll see. So I'm going to use this P. Louise base to cut the crease. See how that does. I don't always, I'm trying to use it just because I have it, but, um, and a lot of people swear by it. So let's see. Let's put it to the test for like what a lot of people use it for, right? So I'm gonna jump into the cream and sugar, just this like lightest shimmer color and start putting that into my cut crease area. Pretty. You don't even have to get these shimmers wet. I'm sure it would make it pop even more, but they look great not even being wet. jump into this color right next to it and start working that over here just using the same brush Very little fallout. I'm gonna take a liner brush and I am gonna use the darker, darkest shade in cream and sugar and start working that onto my lash line. working on my lower lash line just because that helps me to see like a full picture of where I want to go so jumping into the very first um, camo color I'm gonna 
blend that out a little. Add that dark brown from the sugar and spice palette. So I'm now going to jump into this um, golden, not golden, more copper shimmer. I don't know, I kind of want to use the broken shimmer on the outside. I'll mix the two. Okay, so this is the look so far. So pretty. Those shimmers are almost like foiled shadows. I'm going to throw on some mascara and a lip, and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, so this is my completed look. I really like how it turned out. I love how these shadows perform. For $3, you can't beat it. Don't sleep on them. I'm gonna see what other ones I might like and get. I'm really excited to use this blue one. Um, so stay tuned for a video on that. Um, definitely worth three bucks. I mean, these performed beautifully. The shimmers are like foiled shadows. I didn't even get them wet. I have a really fun look. I'm really, ha I don't know. I'm happy, what do you think? I mean, they performed great. So I used Nude for Melt Cosmetics on the lip and a little bit of NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Istanbul. Pretty and Petite Mascara. I love that mascara. It's one of my favorites. Anyhow, so yeah, totally approved. Love them, love them, love them. If you like this video, please like, subscribe. Keep an eye out for the, I don't know what will be up first. The concealers and the sponge or this but anyhow keep an eye out for either one have a good day bye bye